brother. Welcome to my own brother, a podcast, video podcast, and possibly if the audio doesn't stink too bad, uh, audio podcast as well, uh, between me and my own brother, Seth, who we all call Cheffid. Uh, let's get to Cheffid. Introducing <laughs> Cheffid. Uh, uh, hey, welcome, Cheffid. Welcome. welcome. You can't see your head, you gotta sit down. Oh. The shot doesn't show your head. This is my brother Seth, uh, one of the craziest people I know in the entire world. I call him Cheffid. They all me and all my friends call him Cheffid. And uh, this is a podcast. I, we don't know what about. This first episode, the first podcast will be about the fact that we're doing a podcast and we're gonna try to figure out what the podcast is about, and maybe you can help us figure that out. Ugh. So yeah, it's a good. it's a title that I came up with. I own. said we should be coming up with a thing for every episode and having an idea and then focus on one thing. But we couldn't figure and out a topic to ADD. do. He I didn't have ADD. We've been waiting to do this for like five months, and every time it's supposed to do it, you go, setup. "Oh, we gotta write it out." <laughs> got a great setup. Here. This is not yeah. back. I, I put a lot of money in this backdrop, and I've never used it. So there we go. Recorder down there. Got a fan over here. No, they can't see that. All they can see, stool. all they can see is us. All they need to do is hear us and look at our faces. So the, this podcast I've been wanting to do for a really long time because my brother and I had some pretty crazy conversations that I thought would be interesting to ha- have on camera. Still know what we're going to talk. About. And Seth wanted to write like the whole thing out. I didn't want to write it out. I wanted to talk about what it was about. Like, okay, we'll talk about whatever ceiling fans in this episode. Yeah, but and, and then, then I came about... up with examples. And I said to you, okay, we'll talk about. This is what I want to. Yeah, I wanted to talk about said... how you don't have a girlfriend, how you have no money, and how your cards are a piece of junk. No, no. How you said you said, said girls. You said like yeah. women. Well, what I was about girls. Like, how do you get one? And how does it work? And how do you? How are you doing it? How I wanted to be able to cut to skits. And that's like, not a podcast. Like, it's a variety show. That's, so, yeah, that's what this looks like. This isn't a variety show. It's a podcast. He looks so, up like a David Letterman. Well, I wanted to have a visually pleasing aesthetic. So uh, we're going to have a portion where you guys call in and help out. Because that's originally, that's the... the re- I don't like that I don't know who I'm talking to. Either. The great, uh, the smart people that are going to help your life. So if we do go with the theme of how, uh, trying to fix Chepard's life... Um, we're gonna, I think that's what we're gonna stick with mostly. And, uh, it's in this not episode. just about me, it's gotta be just about, but it's about stop. my own brother, a title that I came up with. No, <laughs> I always say that because <laughs> I learned it from something. Is it in something? Well, I mean, they say it in the rest of development, but I said it before that. Oh, uh, what well, Jeffrey always says to me, my own brother, because I always go out on dates or I go to see a show or I go do something and I never brought him with me because I would Take do it. Take <laughs> Oh yeah, that's when I started. It started when I went to, oh, before that actually, I had a girlfriend and I took her to Bora Bora one t- one mm. year. Couldn't believe I even went there and I took her with me. $10,000. Oh man, it was the best trip of my entire life. I didn't care and, either. I did not want to take a girl. Care trip. I just said, he always... He, you know, he does, I can't remember the examples, but he does all kinds of things, and then I ask him for like... I do things that you don't want to do in the first place, and then he says to me, my own brother. Yeah, I say if I'm leaving also, him in the dust, all alone, yeah, he doesn't want to do things I want to do. Also you know, everyone wants to go wrestling, it's all, you don't yeah, want to go Bora Bora and be on a romantic getaway. I don't want to go romantic getaway, but I go on a cool tight rip of dirt bike Bora Bora. And I did that for you, for my own brother. I took my own brother dirt yeah, bike right out of dirt that, bike. That was about five years after the, all those other things, he felt guilty, so he finally took me what in. What do you want? My motivations are to hang out with women. Not my brother that I hung out with for 35 years. So here we are. I'm paying back my own brother that I got him his own television show. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me do that. <laughs> you want to do it. It's really fun. And since my brother and I... Uh, I want to do it in a cable studio where people are got pulling levers. Tried to do it in a cable studio, but it was too expensive. So here we are in the arcade. I hope this beautiful is recording. Backdrop. How do you know this We're is We're in the forests of New England. How do you know that's recording? As I hit record. Yeah, but there's no light to let you know, to be sure. No, but I double checked it. Oh, now you make me think I should check it. No, don't check it. It's before. recording. It's so, so what happens now? Oh, well, so <laughs> we have a special guest on this episode, because me and my own brother would probably just yell at each other the whole time, and we'd have an outside voice, uh, and that's our... My, my <laughs> best friend, and his best friend, who's me, Paul Cummings. Come on out, Paul Cummings. <laughs> He's not coming out. He's not coming out. Paul! Come on! He's too embarrassed. Is he on the phone? Uh, <laughs> there he is! What a guy! You can't see your hand. Until you sit down. 
There All coming. Do you want me to check? Oh wait, am I supposed to? No, it's right? recording. I know it's recording. Here, it's a guess. Down. I'll double check. I really don't want to do this. <laughs> you have to. Leave your phone at phone. all. It's recording. I really don't want to do this. You didn't this. bump it, did you? That was embarrassing. Okay, so I like how you're first. Welcome go, to the I show. He goes, he goes, maybe one episode. I want to talk about ceiling fans. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, that's horrible. That's 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 it doesn't matter. It's just something. Talk about garage doors. So, so in this this episode, I am deciding that. Well, actually, I wrote a curriculum. No, no. Let uh, me read the curriculum. No. One uh, <laughs> intro. We did the intro. Okay. This is probably coming. Oh, maybe we should do more of an intro. If you don't know who I am, you don't. I'm Nathan Barnett. You probably know who I am if you're even here in the first place. I fall do down and then I act. Uh, Jeffin is my brother. Yeah, we already did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Are you sure I'm in the frame? Yeah, yes, you're definitely in the frame. The whole like is in the frame. The frame. Even you some of confidential mission in uh, Contra is in the frame. Like, you think that this goes to the edge, like, oh, set. You can see sh shit on the side. It looks awful. <laughs> the frame. It looks great. It looks. Oh, you can see the edge of that curtain? <laughs> you can see everything. It's awful. Yeah, it goes like from curtain to curtain, basically. Yeah, beyond. Oh no! That's bonus fit food viewage for the audience. Just punch in later. So, uh, this is Paul B. Cummings is yeah. his name. This is gonna we we all grew people. up in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. And we're all friends. Now we're all in California. We're all still friends. Paul is an amazing director. Oh, <laughs> award winning work. <laughs> Jeff is an award winning writer. He stole a Webby. And That's I have a real bad guy. Steal the Webby. He stole a Webby award. Me a Webby to make a video for them. And you kept it. I wasn't gonna send it back. You have to display it if you want it. But it's like, you know, I'm not display. It's not like with trophies. It's in my no, shelf. It's blank. But the inscription just says nothing. It's just a blank. It's a, pen, it's a tab. It's That's a real. Word. I'm gonna put an inscription on it. I was nominated for a Webby the year before, so it's still you know. So it's half yours. Sure. All right, that's great. That's nice. So that's okay, we did the intro. Okay, and curriculum. This step, takes longer than that. Step two. Definitely. <laughs> step two. What are we doing? You already did that whole. We're talking about ceiling oh. fans. Oh, okay. Three. Call in and help us. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> that's that's too, too far. Put it away. Uh, okay, right okay. curriculum is going down. I want to do. I want to figure out. How to get Chepid a girlfriend. Because Paul's got a girlfriend, basically a wife, been with her for 15 years. Okay. I had girlfriends all the time. I'm just women swimming every day. Chepid hasn't had a girlfriend in a long time. We can't talk about it. I know, like, what can I even like, talk we can't, about? It's too awkward. Awkward. We can. It's too uncomfortable. Chepid met a girl last night. Oh, and by the way, I life. have more experiences with women than don't either of them. You what? That's insane! But see, the thing, I can't speak entirely freely on this. Podcast. We don't want to give up all the juicy details, but Jeffrey hasn't had a girlfriend in a long time because he doesn't know how to talk to women. A long time. Yeah. Let's yeah. Just talk about this. Well, 15 Here are the years. reasons. Oh, you've been married for 15 I've been only single for about 10 or 11. Which is worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey doesn't like technology. He doesn't like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I, yeah, I met a woman last night, and I want her phone number. First he, off. I met this woman. We got along super good. We were talking. Just, it just boom, 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 boom. I haven't talked to a stranger like that in forever. I haven't had a connection. She's talking about this. She's talking about that. She's talking about Burning Man. Talking about like this, uh, the outer realms and all this cool stuff. And then I don't know. I don't have my phone. <laughs> because hey, I have a phone. Because Jeffrey doesn't have a phone. He has the free Obama phone. But I also have he doesn't an have a working iPhone. iPhone. I have an he iPhone. He doesn't have a, a, I internet have, access to anything. I have an iPhone. Let him say his piece. I have an iPhone, but I can't you know, use it as a cell phone. I can use it at home as Wi Fi. So when I meet women, the odds right. are pretty good that they have an iPhone because it's really trendy to have an iPhone. So I can usually text them for it's free. Trendy to have but, an iPhone. She didn't have her phone either, which is a good sign. Because oh, and also when he does meet girls, sometimes he's like, I don't know if my text went through because I don't know if I was near Wi-Fi. So either he doesn't know if they're ignoring yeah. him or if that's a common, go through. That's a common thing. It's not a common thing. Like, I bet you thousands of people have that same problem. Oh, I can only text hey, you on Wi-Fi. The point is that she didn't have her phone either. So yeah. that's like well, a lot. Right, so it sounds like Chep had met the girl of his dreams last night. She's talking about Burning Man. She's a free spirit. She's a friend she, of my she, friend. She hangs out in outer space. She's a friend of Paul's friend. It's uncomfortable talking about well, we don't have to say, have to say her name. But anyways, he met a girl, and Paul has access to her phone number, but he won't yeah. get this. So thing. anyway, Paul's friend <laughs> is the mutual friend. Also, do we, so we be talking to, to the camera that. as if this is like we're telling guys? Or I know, I don't have to each other. Either or, it doesn't matter. But you had her number. 
Yeah, I agree. And he, you have her phone number, and yeah. he won't give it and to why me. Why won't you give it to her? Him? Number one, I got. I invited him to this party. Yeah, it was cosmic. It was cosmic. Let, Let me finish. I invited him to this party. Didn't thank me. I got him on the guest <laughs> list. Shut up! Uh, Let something. me finish. Got him on the guest list. Saved him ten dollars. Didn't thank me. <laughs> My God. I drove him home afterwards because he didn't have a fucking car. I do too. I loaned it to my old brother that night. My old brother. <laughs> didn't thank me. And then he asked me to talk to my friend and get the number. I said, oh, I should wait. Yeah, he said, no, he said, I don't want to do it. So I did do it that night, sent him a text proving that I did do it, still didn't thank me. All I said was, what does that mean? So that's four instances of me doing something for a <laughs> show. With him not, and so all, he's, all you've done is I don't he, have to thank you. All you've done is he yell at me now. For, <laughs> because you don't literally hold it over me. You won't give me the information. I invite you to a party. I get you on the guest list. I, I meet did. a girl. I give <laughs> you a ride home. I get her number. So do I so know far, I have to say thank you? So thank you. Four times. He's just using that out. as bait. Also, I me. Mean, he doesn't, doesn't care. And also, the second reason I did it. Well, I mean, let's count all those four things. Well, the second reason I did it is because if I gave it to him last night, he would immediately go, "Had a really good time talking to you. Do you like this? Do you yeah. like this? Do you want to yeah. go out tomorrow?" Yeah. I was me. Shut. No, because, because we agree. We even agree. agree. You agree. There's no games. If you like somebody, like we. Somebody, we also. Uh, you can agree on whatever you want. We so also talked about before. Every time we try to like tell Chip and how to talk to a girl and how to go about getting a girlfriend, it always fails. He goes, "You guys screwed me. You screwed me over." So we're like, yeah, okay, "Which is more right. shit?" Every time you so listen now, to me, it's been a yeah. total success except for one time. <laughs> so one so when you completely time. mortified yourself. Wait, what was that time? When it, he asked out Chainsaw. Uh, I was like, oh, you can't talk about it. Oh, it's but so that, embarrassing. It's bleep or Our friend. Yeah, bleep or nothing. I've been with you for a long chainsaw. time. I said Chainsaw. You got bleep it. No, but they go, she knows you had it. I don't Google Chainsaw. She Everybody on the internet knows the Chainsaw. First off, nobody. You got to bleep it. Nobody's watching this. <laughs> yeah, nobody's watching. Least of all her. But also, you got to talk to the camera. It doesn't matter Chainsaw sees it. You got to talk to the camera. She knows you asked her out. She was there. But there's millions of women I've asked out that said no. It's a, it, 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 they don't know which one it is. They don't know which one it is. How do they know? I will give it doesn't you, matter. I will give you her number. I plan on yeah, giving you her Yeah, but you're torturing number. me. Did I have to give you to you at midnight last also, night? What I wasn't going to touch her last night, but I wanted to touch her today. I could have had a love experience today, all day with her. The, it's the perfect time of day to text someone. The, the sun is yeah. setting. So then <laughs> it comes through my window. It just feels magical. The perfect time of day to text someone when the sun the is third, setting. The third, the, reason I, the third reason I didn't give him the phone number is because the whole ride home, he could go, I'm in love. I can't believe I found my love. <laughs> Shut, that's a, um, that uh, it sounds like he's in love and you're denying him and true romance. But he, what if a guy asked her out today? So you're going to be just wrapped with guilt. That would be amazing <laughs> if she got as on that. I would love that for the rest of my life. I need to date this woman. Oh my god. She's like perfect for me. Torture so me. So all my friends. I should, just, I should I say. I should say that I texted my friend and said the hey, one that was party. One, yeah, the one whose party was. I'm recalling the story for everybody. Pretend like you haven't heard it. <laughs> Or pretend like you haven't heard it. Uh-huh. He, I said, hey, my friend Seth likes your friend, let's not say her name. Woman. And all he sent back was just her contact him. Yeah, what does that mean? That's that means, I cool, give her a call. What does that mean? I, I mean, wish she gave a little, call. like, oh, she likes him too. But you didn't, you, didn't say, you didn't ask him anything else or say, no, oh, I got the number. Oh, I was See, to... this, is, this is what I'm talking about. How much do you want from me? What do you do? I'm just this? saying, like, intuitively, like, did you just think, oh, is she single? I don't know, I just thought maybe, because it was confusing. Yeah, I mean, I thought the single was pretty clear. It's cool to give the number. Here you go. So that probably means she's single. Whether he asked her or not, what are you doing? I'm running a timer just so I know how long we're going. It's at 15 minutes. I didn't check. But do you see? You just keep asking more. Asking more. All I can hear is something. All that news do for you. I hang out with you every day. (laughs) For me? Yeah, for you too. I just want to hang out with us, man. That's not a great time. I just love it. me. Yes. I'm gonna give you her number. I just didn't want you bombarding this person the day after. Hey, what's going on? I'm not gonna you like her. the sunset today? I'm gonna bother down while you're doing think, crap. I don't think you have to worry about that. You and this I, girl is on the same level as Jeff. And if he called yeah, her, you and I talked cool. about this. How we don't play the game. If you like somebody, you just like him. You tell him you like him. And if they don't like you, then peace out. And how has it worked out for you so far? That's great because I don't have any women who tell me they like me who don't like me. <laughs> I just wanted you to not meet this person and then one hour later confess your love to them. I'm not going to be that. I'm not like, uh... Here, I'll read her number now. <laughs> yeah, read it aloud. Wait, I can't. I can't now because I, I can't do anything with it. You know, you got to send it to me. Don't read it aloud. That's well, a joke. Well, welcome to the 
Jesus. We recently just decided to stop giving Jeffrey advice on life and women in general. Oh, yeah. And because we used to tell him, don't talk about your inventions. Don't talk about your... Don't talk about aliens. How you, uh, don't your talk food about stamps. Don't talk about how your car doesn't r- work. Don't talk about hearing Obama's phone. No, 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 no. You see, now, the last... I finally stopped... What? <sighs> I was just going to say, the last date you had, you picked her up in your dirty car, covered in mud. <laughs> it's just mud! Nobody it, cares about that kind of car thing! It's covered in mud. You don't pick up on a first date in a car covered in mud. Yeah, I mean, I, if a girl's like really cool and she's like off-roading, then she'd be like, oh, cool, you're like a fun guy. But if most people, people would be like, oh, like, oh this is like, think about that kind of looks like a poor person. Yeah, people, people don't think people about don't, that kind of stuff. You're that poor and it's a bad thing, but it just doesn't look... Like, you're, you wouldn't want to get in a filthy car because they don't get dirty. You're telling me people, so when you pull up to a date, here, I'm here to pick you up, and it's covered in mud, people, let's say her, don't think about that. It's No, nah, they're just thinking about and whatever then, they want to eat. And then you told her you were out of gas, you guys went to go get <laughs> gas, and you had her price shop. Is there cheaper gas over there? Is cheaper? Oh, don't talk about cheaper gas. Oh, you guys don't get gas. I've been telling you guys this forever. You're living in another world. We're not in that. You're living in another world. Because we don't gas price shop on dates. Just pick one. Exactly. And then you put in five dollars. Because I that's all I need. Fill your tank! I don't have enough money to be filling my tank at a freaking gas station in the Pacific Palisades. And then you <laughs> took a shit in front of her. She wasn't oh, watching. Yeah. This is you she dug a hole there. in the woods to take like a shit. Yes. But she wasn't watching. But she knew <laughs> you were going to dig a hole and shit in it. Yes, she told me where the shovel was. <laughs> She knew! She didn't care! <laughs> Please! Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why are, were you putting in a hole on a date? I had to get up. What do you mean? <laughs> where, where, why did you, where, why are you not in your car? Because you're in her forest. Like, you're in a forest? Her forest. She had like, her forest? She has her own forest? Yeah, she had like woods. They're in hills. Fucking trespassing. No. Uh, where were you? Pacific Palisades? I bet he's close to being cut off. To no. Pang. No, you can see the guns there. You can see Game Boy. To too. Pang. Okay. <laughs> Wow. So anyway, so this your last after, day, that, your last day. after that disaster, I tried to just protect you from yourself by not giving you the number. Oh, that was a disaster! Oh. That was a fully successful evening! <laughs> it was! I had a great time pooping for free. I got a decent price on the gas, I guess. And, uh... I listened to free music that night. She had Spotify. Free music! She had Spotify. Isn't all and music free? Yeah, but really? had Spotify. Not me. Why don't you just go into the mall something and stand there Something listen. else happened that night, too. We went, if that's uh, your idea of a good date, <laughs> oh, I went to free horses. music. I had a great date that night. I pooped in a hole for free. I listened to free music. I went to see the horses. I saw the horses. And I got a great deal on gas. I, I went a great free deal on gas. Meet me at the chapel. Free music sounds like a date thing. Like you go and see a band live. No. Yeah. Just listen to it. No. Or you listen to someone else's Wait. You were talking about Spotify something earlier account. before she came up. And now I can't remember what we were talking that's about. That's like when we used to say, oh, I, I took a free dump today because you took one at work or at the mall. And they had free toilet paper. That's like a that's free a good dump. That is a free dump. That's a free so, dump. You yeah. didn't have to pay anything I for that. What did you wipe with when you shit in the hole? Was she a toilet paper? Did you? Where'd you? Did you pay for that? Where'd you put the toilet paper? No, I didn't pay for. Where'd you put the toilet paper in the hole? It's litter. No, it breaks down. Biodegradable. It was biodegradable. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Recycled three sixty five. Even, even regular anyway, toilet paper. Breaks I'm down. gonna give you that girl's number today. Absolutely. I know. But you've been torturing me. Is there a stimulation? I've been torturing you. I've been waiting for my thank you for the invite. Thank you for putting me on the guest list. Oh, you guys thank, thank you for you. driving me home. Thank you. It sounds insincere. There you go. Got it. I said thank you. Not even once. I appreciate it. Oh, my God. Give him a kiss on the cheek as right. a great friendship if gift. If you give me a kiss on the cheek, I delete that number right now. <laughs> There, I, I gave him a there kiss on the cheek. There was something else we were talking about, and now I can't remember it because you guys make me look like a fool. And I can't How are remember we what making was. you look like a fool? Are we what were we talking about before that day with the mud? You... And no, oh yeah, nobody looks at cars like that. If someone picks me up in a car that's got mud on it, I wouldn't think, oh, you! That car. Because you're not like, I mean, it's so not that car that had a tire that has a donut on it. I'm not saying a donut. you're crazy or you're wrong for doing this, but you. Don't care about oh, anything. Thing. You guys live in the iPhone world. You guys are living in another <laughs> dimension. That's the thing. The real world is here. That's where I am. And you guys are in the iPhone world. And you think like you think sandwiches cost ten dollars, and and you pay eighty dollars a month for your phone bill, and you fill up your tank. I pay one hundred and twenty dollars a month for your phone bill. You go to the gas station and you eat a meal every day. 
So, are we, is this like a class conversation we're having here? Yeah, like, yeah, you so, guys are in the iPhone So, the higher class. class to you is $10 sandwiches. And regular a iPhone tank, user. A full tank of gas. Yes. And an iPhone A bill. regular iPhone user who pays a, a monthly bill. I bet. Contract. 90% of the people watching this, which is yeah, no money. Everyone, is, comment so we can see in the percentage... How many people have a reoccurring cell phone and, bill? And pay $10 for sandwiches. And, pay, and would pay and $10 for a sandwich and fill up your gas tank. And you guys go to the movies all the time. You guys you go to restaurants, you go to the movies. But also, uh, Jiffy, this is part of what we were talking about you before. You buy things. You could do all this stuff too. And you could do it all with women. You could drive women around because your gas would be if I was tank rich, was full. If I was rich. I'd be rich to do these like... Minuscule normal things. That's that what I say. This is what I say. Do. You guys don't understand. You don't see it. You live in a fog. You live in the iPhone world. You think <laughs> it's not that. Because yeah. you think like you, you could do it too. You could do it too. But yeah, because you, you live in the iPhone world. You just gotta, oh, seriously. You just gotta do more work, and then you get paid. You know, guys don't work. You guys work. Yo, I don't work all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you call this? You work, but you don't work like digging a hole nine dollars oh, an hour. That's right? all I did for like thirty years of my life, and I finally don't have and to. And that's all I did. Hey, I stopped doing it, and the money didn't keep coming, so I just waited. Because I started doing something else, and then you didn't. So I'm just broke. You write and you edit things every once in a while. If you hustle harder to write more and edit more and shoot yeah, more, yeah, but you guys get paid. Don't say talk about a, 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 a year's salary in perhaps two jobs. Depends so, on what a year's salary is. Like your average five thousand dollars. I'm not comfortable. comfortable. <laughs> one year, one year, Seth Jeff, aka Seth, made four thousand dollars in the entire year, and he lived no problem. He was living in the van. I was living in a van. Were you in the van that year? I yeah. thought that was Twenty Sixth Street. I was in a van. No, Twenty Sixth Street. I yeah. was a TV guy at Twenty Sixth Street. Oh, you made big money then. That's what I used to play. Oh, yeah. His Chepard rent. also used to live in a van. That van you've seen the Ray Amsley videos, that was Chepard's house. And I had to kick him out of his house when I wanted to shoot videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More, just as low as you can get. As low as you can get. Get kicked out of your own get van. Get out of your own van. Yeah, but when you got kicked out of the house, you got to go into a real house. Also, I had paranoia when I moved into the house. Paranoid the oh, that's fall. the other topic. That's another topic we can talk about. You thought the ceilings were going to fall on you? The <laughs> things that you... When he does talk to this girl, well, I guess it doesn't matter with this girl, because this girl will probably be talking about, too. You can't talk, I was going to say, you can't talk about how you think the aliens are communicating with you and trying to give you secret messages. There's nothing much stranger for me to say, I think aliens perhaps are sending me signals than someone who says they, like, talk to angels or Jesus or God or whatever. I agree. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But more people say that angels thing than aliens. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So to a that's common mild, person, it's mild mentality. mentality. Yeah, that's, that's mild mentality. mentality. Mild mentality. I'm forget, not saying you're crazy. Forget, forget that. But you don't want to go off the bat with that, and that's kind of what you tend to do. Right, you don't want to leave with that. Yeah, you always try to be like, this is me. me. I poop in the dirt for free. I turn my socks upside down when they have holes in them because I don't want to buy new socks. That's a good tip. I, 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 I attach it. my butt of my pants with the curtains have, from the living room. Do you have, do you, is that what they want? That All the patches matter? in his butt, you would take the curtains and he cut them and he put patches in his butt. Yeah, the curtains, right? And you can see, you can see pattern on his butt. It doesn't matter. It's just fabric. Nobody cares. I'm saying that's the reason you're going. Oh, it girlfriend. matters. It Why matters. Have a girlfriend? It matters when from behind you have like these tan shorts on, and then there'll be a polka dot pattern coming through in this ass cheek, and then a plaid. And it's also hand sewn like a guy on. It looks like awesome. It doesn't look. I don't know what's even looking. You guys are living in the iPhone world. <laughs> that's because you think things. That's you because think stuff like that. Living. Okay, comment if you sew your own pants with curtains. With curtains, and when you get a hole in the bottom of your sock, you flip it over, and then when you get a hole in the top one, you fold it down. Now you do a quarter turn. <laughs> How many holes can you have in your sock? Basically, you're just gonna have a hole across the the whole sock, and you're gonna be taping it together. When I have even a hole this big in my sock, it makes me feel. It's I hate sick. having a hole in my sock. It makes me sick. That's why I turn it over. <laughs> why don't you? But the heel, like this has like a very Jerry. specific heel. It doesn't matter. You it feels so. It's you're, so you're uncomfortable. Turn it over. Oh, I hate it. It's, it's, it's like wearing a shoe on the oh, other fucking it foot. Me, it's like it's chewing. Floor. Floor. I don't like. 
It's, 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 it's almost as bad as chewing no, 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 foil. No, no, no. Yes, it is. Because the sock has a shape. It's like sticking your arm Let me tell you into this. an elbow this is socket this. that turns like the other way. A, you know, it's like wearing a shirt backwards. It's, uh, uh, no. It's a little yeah. tighter here. Yeah. 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 Kind of, but no. Because it's liberating. Once you do it, you're like, oh, man. I'm not great. to mention. I'm not restricted. Not to mention. By the way, you have to wear a sock Not anymore. to mention, I give you my old socks. I give you my old boxers. Those. Stop <laughs> patching and flipping shit. Just wear them on. Yeah. I do, but I need more than seven pairs. I need seven pairs. <laughs> Why well, do you just wash them more often? I do wash once a week. <laughs> Buy a we just gotta make, we need to like, set up. Like We're gonna set up a PO box where people can send Chep in. No, no, I don't want your socks. I got too many. No, <laughs> I got. Are you kidding me? If people send you socks, you wouldn't take those. No, I don't need them. How you would that? take them? I'm picky with my socks. All right, you have to your socks. socks you want. Rotate them over. Yeah, they have to be just right, though. I don't like just. They have to be any just socks. right. They're. Balls also, over, I, like how have, I like how you have seven pair. Like, just a pack of socks is like has like 20 in it. I buy them by ones when I run out. Oh, he goes to Tommy Sherman and he buys a single no, sock. No, I go to American Apparel and I get them for the... the you can buy a one. single sock? What well, pair of socks. Oh, oh I think you meant oh. one singular no, sock. You could probably buy that at the Goodwill. He'll find it. Jared buys Why don't you just patch your socks like Jared does? Jared okay. sews his so socks Jared, by hand. So Jared, a little backstory on Jared. Jared and Seth are the same with this shit. Yeah. Like I'm friend Jared. And he's not it. living in the iPhone world. I know. He's the whole so, guy. So, but yeah, listen. he doesn't have an iPhone either. So, he hates Facebook. <laughs> but when you say, okay, you're a crazy person and Jared's a crazy person. So when you say, well, Jared does it, that does, that's not that's not like accurate. That, yeah, you, know, you like, can never do that. The serial and killers also, can't say, oh, he killed some to an You're only really crazy. Too. Every you're time, only, you're only crazy if there's no one else like you. Just because you have one other guy like you, that makes you. That means there's crazy. two crazy people. No, yeah, that's just not crazy. Me. Also, that's whenever not, I go, whenever I says, "Goes, come on, come with me to the grocery store," I'm like, "I don't have to get food. Why don't you just come anyways?" I'm like, "Cause I have stuff to do." Jared would come with me. That's all he said. He goes, too. "Come on, go get cardboard with me. I don't want to go get cardboard to sell the cardboard to make money." It come on, make sense Jared would do it, it with me. I know, but it also doesn't come. Like, like we're living. Goes, I'm sick of living in Jared's shadow. No. I know. Jared's like the all end all be all, and we can't live up to him. I just don't understand why you wouldn't want to go have a great time. It's <laughs> Going out and making free money is a great time. It's I not free money. I need to drive around all night till like two in the morning, picking up, picking up tons of cardboard that's heavy, uh, it's labor, you get dirty, money. you get black boogers, it's it's you crawl through dumpsters. It's like you're sneaking to a museum, a cat burglar, and stealing diamonds. And <laughs> stuff. Not, if you're stealing yeah. cardboard, it's worth shit. But that's what I do in my head. Yeah. I feel okay. like I'm doing like cool so this stuff. This is what Seth and Jared would do. They would go out at night and they. would Steal cardboard from dumpsters. They'd stack it on top of their car. We didn't like oh, five feet high. And then they serious. would go to the recycling <laughs> center and they would sell it. Water. And they'd get like four dollars for a whole yeah, night's work. Right. Yeah, right. You got you like get? 30, 35 bucks. Thirty-five bucks for a whole one hour. hour. It's oh, not one shit. hour. It's not oh, shit. free money. Me and Jared are going down there. It's not free money. So you you're the cockroaches so split of the city. together. So you got 17 Split. bucks an hour. It was all going to find me and Zach first were saving for Transylvania because we wanted to go find vampires. But then <laughs> yeah, Zach really left, so he took half his money and dropped across the country. And then Jared and I started saving because we were going to, oh, we wanted to go to eat every Friday night, like the iPhone people. We wanted to go out and have a, a restaurant meal every it. Friday. I hate it so much. You want to have a meal every Friday? And then, <laughs> and then they, every Friday we have iPhone people meals. Then he would, he says to me, Come on, let's go look for some food in the dumpster. They would, Jared, no, Zach would, the dumpster. Jared and Seth would take food out of the dumpster and they the would eat it good. straight out of the dumpster. No, and they they would, I don't go. I don't go. You go, I was doing why I didn't want to go eat food out of the trash with us. <laughs> because <laughs> it's Jared such a good it. idea. Because I bet you a million people, when they see this show, if they say, I told you on the dumpster, I get free no food. Blah, 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 blah. Hurt, the only thing I ate from the dumpster was a six pack of sparkling water that was gagged. Oh, yeah. Sealed. See, that he was. Because it was that sealed. sealed. It was sealed. So what? People aren't going to just go, like, you know. <laughs> whatever into a can of vitamins. They're not gonna just do it. But those are expired. And that doesn't matter. Vitamins don't expire like that. It just do that's that. just like the main If Whole Foods is throwing it away, it means so something is wrong with it. That's why it's been returned. I got high and, and you don't know whose facial product. You don't know whose penis ah. fingers were touching all that stuff. It doesn't it could, matter. Yes, it does matter. I could very well take a bunch of vitamins, lick them all, put them back, and return them. But nobody does that. I don't know. Nobody does that. I'm weird. Six goes. Cereal. Cereal nasties. He's insane. He's, He's got paranoia. No, I don't have paranoia. Well, I got paranoia a little bit, but not in that case. That's cereal yeah. nasty. The fact that you're thinking that people are going out of the way to lick vitamins. 
Bring them back to Whole Foods. Well, obviously, they never know what the charm is. They cereal, might have been touching their cereal penis. Cereal nasty. That's a kind you know, of No, it's like a cereal cup, but they're being nasty. I, oh, I know what you mean. That <laughs> could be a thing. Nasty. And they, like, they just get the thrill of it. Even though that dumpster, organic avocados, organic strawberries, organic bananas, pineapples, multivitamins, uh, just all kinds of produce. One day we found, I found this great, like, skin scar remover ointment. What's <laughs> 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 well, you remove? I have a scar That's somewhere. another thing. Seth, who can find it now? I had a scar. scar. <laughs> I, had a, I, had a, I was shooting pictures with my, my own other brother, Josh, who I should mention, who lives in Massachusetts. Josh is the third brother out of the Barnett brothers. He's... Third. Paul's, oh, the, yeah. Paul's the second Sorry, and a third and a half. He's the fourth. Paul's the fourth one, brother. He's been adopted. And Josh, who's a real man, has his hair, has a wife, has kids, a house, town. He's a great guy. He's, he's artistic. Anyways. He's got it together. He's got it together. He's a real man. Josh. Where's I going with this? I don't know. You're talking about dumpsters and food. Uh, oh, dang it. I got distracted by Josh's great life. Well, I'll tell you what, though. They get, get, a good point. Point. get cardboard. And we would spend one hour. We go down there, shaboom, shaboom, shaboom. We had a whole system, and I would load up, stuff the trunk up to here. The trunk wouldn't even close. Stuff the roof six feet almost. And then we. I have a picture down. of that. And then we fill the back seat, back window, front seat, and I just get the side, tuck in, and Jared couldn't shift in I mean, past third just, gear because this, the, that does not sound this like. This is awful. For Am I okay, so for he's, seventeen he's, dollars. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. We gotta split it. Hold it's on, seventeen wait, wait, wait. bucks. He's crammed in. Jared getting shift to third, yet they're inviting you. Yeah. What the fuck are you yeah. gonna put yeah. him? Yeah. 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 in the trunk or whatever? See, on top of the stack of six foot tall. So then you guys room. all split it 12 bucks a piece. It's yeah. just for the fun. Cares. It doesn't matter what the money is. I remember I was gonna say, I was doing a photo shoot for this, the Going Ostrich book, and I, I needed a tire to stick my head in, like an old tire off the side of the road. I found one off the side of the highway, and I grabbed it. And I, I shot the shot with it, and I was gonna throw it in a dumpster. And Trevor goes, eh, Don't throw that away! You can get cash for that! What was it? I was the a tire! I was a, oh, yeah. What are you doing? I was the tire! So I go, Okay, fine. So the tire didn't leave my trunk for like months, and then I was like, Seth, I'm gonna throw this away. He goes, Don't throw it away! And so I said, You might! So he brings that tire to sell it, and he goes, Oh, they actually, I gotta pay them to get rid of it. So now he has this tire that he can't no, get no, rid no, of no, because no, you're I I said, hey, also, I said, also, hold on. You do that to me all the time. Like, I want to throw something away. He's like, no, 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 that's worth something. He has me hold on to it. He has me hold on to it. Now we have all this crap, crap, and I throw it away. What are you throwing that away for? <laughs> yeah. You have all kinds of stuff. You have a car If you don't, if you don't take stuff. that license plate out of my driveway, oh, I get that. it's go that going, way. man. Go it's going. A it's license plate? Two years. There's a license plate in my driveway. For two yeah, I need that. Don't throw Why? it. Why? Why do you need so it? I just sent it to my dad. Your dad's gonna make something out of it. Oh, uh, box. Well, why don't you just take it home? Please take it home. You're at my house, as we've said every day. <laughs> also, going back to the cardboard. No one cares. Um, no, we can't talk about cardboard. No one anymore. cares. I we need to do your live stream. We need to get. People. Oh yeah, we got to call in, and we're gonna ask some people for some tips on how to help Jeff. Because we, got, we got 25 minutes about. left. I'm gonna film in. So right now, I'm gonna go on Facebook Live, I'm gonna do a live video, and I'm gonna say call in, and we're gonna get some people to call in and help Jeff's life. I need to make sure I'm justifying myself here. I, I don't remember this is a good idea putting your house phone number on the internet. Who cares about that? Oh, thing? yeah, I'm putting my house phone number on there. That's how we have to call. I'm gonna call them. No. No, we need them to call them. us. People aren't gonna call every day. The video's gonna be gone tomorrow, they won't remember. At the same time, you guys put text Jeff on the web. 40. Million thousand people texted me. That phone is not gonna stop ringing. Yeah, it'll stop ringing. All right. Good thing the ring yeah. is broken. What are we telling them? We're going live. This is stupid. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm. All right. This so stupid. we gotta wait for people to get in here, and then. How long does it take? It takes like a, a minute. Not even. Once people start what getting in. What do we need them helping with? But why did you do this to begin with? We're gonna have someone just give you advice as an outsider who's not in this crazy bubble that we live in. We're always yelling at each other and telling each other what to do. But how are you gonna hear them? I'm gonna read what they're, they're gonna saying, and they're gonna. I'm the gonna store. give them the number. Yeah, but we won't be able to hear them. And the speakerphone. The speakerphone doesn't work. It no. It, that that. That's perfect. Yeah, watch. It's not going to work for a long time. Well, well, see what happens. Stop. Well, don't see, shake it around yeah, like that. Same thing. I took this whole thing apart. <laughs> All right, we got some people in here. Yeah, yeah okay. Like a phone. Hello, Tamara. Hello, Rusty. Hello, Logan. Okay. Yeah. Call Obama phone. Okay, so you want to call the Obama phone? I don't care. Is that a speakerphone? Yeah. Yeah. A speakerphone. 
All right, give them the number. Go number. get that. I don't know the number. All right. You don't know the number. You don't know the number for your own phone? I don't know the number. I don't ever use it. Where is it? I have the number. But where's the phone? How would I know where the phone is? I don't either. That's how much he doesn't use the phone. He has a free Obama phone because he doesn't use his iPhone, and then he gets the free phone and he doesn't use it, doesn't know where it is, doesn't know what number it is. I called Obama phone. People are going to be looking at that. Okay, everybody, hello. We're filming uh, our my first episode of our podcast right now, and we need some people to call in and help us give some advice to Chefid to figure his life out and tell us how he can get a girlfriend and money. I found it. And a good car and a working cell phone. It's got one bar. Okay. Why don't you ask him about the mud? Ask what people think about it. Yeah, we should ask some opinion. All right, so will that speakerphone actually work? It should. Okay, so give me the phone number. All right, some people we need people to call in. Whoever calls in they first, I guess. They're calling in about. I don't know how to get the number. I, I told them the what number. they're calling in for. We'll explain to them when they're on the phone. Why don't you explain it to everybody? Yeah, though? yeah. All right, call hello, everyone. But then the people who are watching the podcast are going to hear a 14th time. Do it quick. Well, how are they going to know? I need you guys to call in. I need yeah, you the guys to call in. The whole thing should should be be live. Live. I can't do that live because that camera, I got to wire it. You just did it yesterday with the. I got to put my big Mac in here. He did it yesterday. I'll try to do another one live at some point, but I got to figure this whole thing out. This is the first one. Anyways, hey, hello, everyone. Okay, someone gave me their phone number. We need you to call our number. So. Tons of people with their number on us. Okay. Seven four seven. All right, right, so call in and help us figure out Chevin's life, basically, and give us some advice of what you think he should do to have a successful Wait. life. <laughs> well, don't we need to give them a little bit of information. It's a bit broad. What, what tell them what we're talking about. Tell, what what, you what, tell we're them. talking about girls, aren't we, right now? To g- tell them, tell them how stupid they are for thinking that women care if your car has mud on it. Oh no, no. no. Your so, tell them what to tell <laughs> us. I just want someone to call. I haven't given the. Like, no, you're gonna call in. You're gonna tell us what you think. If you're a guy or a girl, if someone your date picked came to pick you up in their car and it was covered in mud, not covered, covered. It was covered. It, it was, was covered. It was mostly, it partially. Covered. Oh my god! I will walk outside. Okay. And still Here's the phone out. number. The podcast is called My Own Brother, and the phone number you're gonna call is. 747-241-241-3543-3543. Did I gonna write down to have a pen and paper? No one's got a paper and pen these days anymore. Well, they can rewind it and listen again. No, I'm not a live stream. All right. Yeah, you can rewind it. Where's the phone? Right here. I'll be the judge of answering this phone. The judge of answering the phone. What's that? I wish I could type it out. So that people we can can't pull it. It's ringing. It's ringing. Kentucky's calling. Someone, someone from Kentucky, Kentucky is calling. Answer it. Hello, my own brother. Hello, you're my, my own, own brother. brother. Someone else is calling now. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> what is this person All right. What is this? Who is this? <laughs> Micah. I'm getting all these beeps. <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> I can't understand it. It doesn't work. What's, it, what's his piece of advice? Hey, can you do star six nine? I could just call it on my phone. You can. Or on your phone. What's his piece of advice? I can't understand him. All right, we, sorry. We got sorry, I can't understand you. <laughs> Enter You're calling one. these people no, back. No, they, Enter another one. That's what okay, we'll answer another one. See if you understand. Oh, your phone's man. a piece of junk. You can't. It's awful. It. It's fucking, it sounds horrible. It sounds right. 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 North, North Carolina. You're all your people are on the south. I got so many things coming in. Hello? Can you hear us? Yeah. Oh, that's, hey, that's, that's a clear that's one. one. Right, that's you got a great clear voice. Who are we talking to? I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Can you understand me now? Barely. Barely. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> who are we talking to? You're talking to Carson. Carson. Hello. Okay. So, if you... Piece of a dating advice. Are you straight or gay? <laughs> Just ask me for advice on sex. Straight? Okay. There's so many beeps. This is so distracting. Like, yeah. beeps. We gotta get one of those phones that you can, like... Alright, so if you were going on a date and the girl said she was gonna pick you up and she picked you up and her car was covered in mud, what would your reaction be? <laughs> you can't... Mud. Mud. Next caller. <laughs> if her car was covered in mud, what would your reaction be? 
I don't would you, no, would no. you not be you excited about this from the you guys perspective? You guys ask. Yeah, w- would you have any no, reaction? No, cool if it was a... Would you have a reaction or would you not think twice about it? Can you hear me? I think we're still... We gotta work. <laughs> we gotta work out this call-in service. Hang on, just saying, would you have a reaction or would you just not think anything else? He doesn't it? know what we're talking about. What would yeah, it be? but no, so, no, no. Let's flip the perspective. Seth went out on a date, picked up this girl. He showed up at her house, and his car was covered in mud, completely covered. It looked disgusting. Do you think that would be a turnoff to a woman? Do you think he should have perhaps cleaned it before he came? Or over? would they not care? What do you think? Or do you think who cares? What's that? Yes, I do. I think yes. Yes to what part? Clean, clean it. Clean it, man. Yeah. There we go. That's a, there we go. Yeah. Level. Well done. Carson, you're a level-headed man. <laughs> next caller. <laughs> All right, sorry. Next caller. <laughs> Hung up. Okay. Now everybody heard what we're talking about, so they can weigh in. Okay. And this person said, this person said, I would write, wash me really big on my car. It, that's a good Alaska. suggestion. Someone's calling him Alaska. Alaska. Alaska, answer that. This oh, guy's going to say he likes the mud. Hello? Do you like the mud? <laughs> Do you like... Hi, Logan. Did you hear our question? Um, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how old is she? <laughs> uh, I was pretty willing to go on. <laughs> she, he was pretty willing to go on a date with this girl. He was, she she was, was a ten here. in his book, or a nine or ten in his book. <laughs> I can't believe what you know. But he's doing the reverse. Hey, uh, he's doing it if a girl came to pick him up. That'd be kind of weird. weird. That's that my verdict. It'd be kind of weird. weird. Yeah. Kind of weird. And it might kill the vibe, one might say. But don't, don't you think it'd be cool? Um, well, it depends on the girl. It, this is situational. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so it depends on the girl. So if the girl steps out and she's anything like Shepard and starts talking about aliens and then he puts the socks up there and there's a giant hole in them, you might go, ah, oh, never mind. So... Oh, think about that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that... I will think about that. All right, all right, that's two out of three. We're going to get... Okay, to thank you. <laughs> Thanks for calling. All right, thank you. No problem. Does she have mud on her shoes? Oh, did you have mud on your body at all? You have the muddy car. You screwed it all up or trying to do this reverse gender thing. Just tell people if Chepard had a good... If that was a good idea of Chepard or not to show up with a muddy car. Uh, hello, you're on the line. Can you hear us? Hello. Oh, we got a girl. We got a girl on the this line. This is what we need. This what's what's, what's your name? Camera. Sarah. Hannah. Camera. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. So if if a guy yeah if a guy shows up to pick you up on a date, would you be taking it back or not think twice if his car was covered in mud? Completely covered in mud. I'm Right in and say let's go mudding. Yeah, there you go. Let's go mudding. Yeah. Let's yeah. go mudding. All right. All right. Well, Bye. you're an exception because you're really cool. Go mudding. All right. Thank you for calling. Yep. <laughs> All right. We're going to take one more? Sure. All right. We can take one more. We're going to ask another question. Yeah. Oh. What are we supposed to ask about Chef? Uh, what were we talking about earlier? What about? he should do to get, get a girlfriend. Time. I don't know him well enough. Uh, hello? Can you hear us? Hello? Hi. What's your name? Hannah. Wait. Did you just call a minute ago? No, I haven't been. I haven't got there at all. Wait, is this Hannah Noel? Yeah. Hey, I know you. She comments on a lot of stuff. How's it going? Good. Okay, so. If a guy... <laughs> wait, 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 she's familiar with you. You're familiar with my, my brother, my own brother, Chepid, right? You said yes? Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think Shepard should do on a... No, 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 no. You're so stupid. You can't speak. I'm trying. All right. right. You ask her. Go ahead. You How ask. would you feel if a guy showed up... If, the, if this guy, Shepard, the one you've seen on the internet... Just a guy. You went on a date with. Specifically you. The guy you went on a date with picked you up and his car was covered in mud. This is going to be... Okay. Totally this is what we do. We make the so date a car wash. 
Yes. So, so the day, I, wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna wait, wait, wait? Are you gonna are you gonna pay? Are you gonna pay for the car wash? Yelling. I know. Because it's people. Well. I'm serious. Would 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 you pay? You're for asking the car wash? her to pay I'm for your car wash. wash. See, this is why it's not a success. That's like your girlfriend. What she said? What'd you say? Say again. See, would you, okay, how about 50 50? Ah, uh, see? You That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, Girls are cool. You would pay for it, but wouldn't you be a little bit offended if the guy was like, Will you pay for my car wash? <laughs> they have an offer. You yeah, have she's offering. offering. She's offering because she's embarrassed to be seen she, with she you. Because she feels like you're talking She feels like you're a pity case. Do you want to go on a date with me? Honestly, <laughs> she can't even stomach the rest of the date with you, so she pays for your car to get washed. Don't fart. We're, right, we're talking right now. A woman is trying to give you advice, and you're farting in her face. <laughs> What's she saying? I don't know. What was that? If he's a 10, he's not a 10. <laughs> he's a I'm negative a, 10. I'm a, I'm a C, C minus. <laughs> <laughs> C was so funny grading yourself. <laughs> then he should make me pay for it. Oh my God. All right. Thank you for your call. All right. Yeah. Call, call again. That's enough call. All right, that's enough call. Thanks, everybody. This podcast will be up soon. We got to fix this. This format did not work. Also, Jeffrey yeah, brought, you know brought, brought the audio over to us when we're screaming. Max because volume. I was trying to get the speakerphone so quiet. That, that phone is going to sound like murder. It's going to sound blaring. And us yelling is going to well, sound blaring. My, my this podcast, still going. it stinks. This won't ever go up. This stinks. I'm going to have to just cut out the call-in section because it's going to be so loud. No, this isn't. Yeah, but, but we were screaming we the whole are. time. This, this is okay. This is an iPhone. <laughs> no, well, listen. I, well, this is why I didn't want to come here. Listen, you know, it, just, it, it, probably, it probably smells so bad. In here. It's, I've been farting the whole time. Listen, we got to get one of those phones with all the lights and the buttons on it and we'll take the caller. It's like... But you can't phone. get one of those oh, phones. Oh, we got to get one of those. You need, that's like a multi-line thing. No, no, it's like... That's like a yeah, whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole phone line. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah. still have the phone with one line. And we'll pick it up and have a clear, crisp speakerphone, you know, a nice speakerphone. First off, we were supposed to have a speakerphone on this. Hey! hey yeah, that's mine! That's mine! Because <laughs> <That's laughs> <mine. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I took that apart and fixed it or whatever. Yeah, I did. I reconstructed the whole thing. Yeah, he goes, I reconstructed all that. It's broken. <laughs> it worked for like three weeks. <laughs> I got that. Why did you buy it? It was broken. Your I stuff, didn't know. Your stuff should just work. It yeah, I bought that at Salvation Army. You bought it at Salvation Army first, probably. Oh, no. Second of all, you bought a broken one at Salvation Army. It didn't work. I gotta tell you this. So we went to Target. I can't believe they didn't have phones there still. And it was thirty dollars. Okay, yeah. he's super offended. Thirty dollars. I got you know, flipped out about this. So since then, he's gone to several, several Goodwills, Salvation Armies, whatever. And now he spent over thirty dollars. Oh, of course. Busted bust. My own Just brother. My own brother. <laughs> I'm at like, you know, 19. You, you liar! He's lying! He told me! He told me he spent <laughs> over 30. He goes, I just bought and, that Target phone. $30 and he had to put labor into fixing one of them. I enjoyed that. Right. doing that. I enjoyed that. You should have bought a regular. First of all, the problem is he's got a house phone because he won't get our no, cell phone. You guys watch. Next episode, we're going to have a sweet. David Letterman, like, and also a percentage here. of people that have a landline and use it of Nathan's fans. They do? I'm, I'm pre- wondering the percentage. I would say 1%. How many yeah, people out there have a landline that they use? Not your parents' existing old landline right, and your right. grandparents that you subscribe to and yeah, pay for on your own. Landline. Zero have them. Landlines are awesome. I'm not saying you shouldn't because that's what makes you chipped and it makes you weird in you. And the it's whole thing we have this I, got, I, I would say I would say 70%, 75% of the population in America has a landline. Incorrect. We've looked this up. Seventy percent. We've looked this up. It's not, not true. Right. Because you guys how to fit in your freaking iPhone world. You don't <laughs> understand. This is what I'm talking to a person who's insane. You know? You're also. Like, I'm trying to tell you the sun. That's how we feel. We're talking that's, to someone who's insane. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm talking to someone who's insane. Because you guys just living in a like, dream world. I'm gonna look up percentage of people that have landlines. It's just, that's not something you can just look I up. I don't want this to sound like. Or making fun of Jeffy. I do. And we think his life <laughs> is the worst. I do. I'm trying to help my own brother. I'm not. Find love in his life. All I do is spread humanity and spread love to you guys. You know, I invite you to the donut place. You don't ask, you don't say thanks when I invite you to everywhere I invite you. You invite us to the donut place and ask us to buy you a donut. No, I just say come with me for the joy. 
I invite you to the club. <laughs> I'm I, I, just, I, I just invited you to the thrift store the other day. The big thrift store with all cool Oh, the stuff. big one. <laughs> As if I can't go to get in there on my own. I invited you to the donut place. I invited you to skate with me at Target. I snuck into the mall. You could have done that with me. Skated through the mall. And, I, and I would say no because I'm either doing something else. I don't or understand I'm how. Busy, or if I want you don't want to do something you want to do, why you get that mad at bad us. people? You always get mad at us for not hanging out with you all the time. He makes me get not dessert all with the time. him. He makes me get dessert with him every day. We go out and we have cake and the next day, you want good ice cream today? I'm like, I can't Because it's a daily cake cake. He goes, it's the next day! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to eat cake and ice cream every day. You hear how strange that sounds? <laughs> <laughs> don't you know what I mean? It's weird! Everybody wants to eat cake and ice cream every day. They don't. I eat too much. I like eating cake. I a love cake lot. and ice cream. That's I eat cake mean. more than I think both of you. That's I eat true. cake probably four times That's a week. That's not true. That's I just ate cake last night. I love great cake. You don't even Did have you to guys eat have the cake. cake last night? You don't even have to eat the cake. Just come with me. I had three. But cake. I'm not Jared. I want to just go sit with just, you and look at just you. Just split it with me then. I don't want to if I'm doing also, something else. Also, he uh, split it with me. He won't share food because he's a jerk. Oh, he can't use the same fork. fork. He won't use the same fork. Mm -hmm. Well, cake's easy. You just cut it in half and then oh just share God. it. Listen to you. <laughs> 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 cake, <laughs> cake, <laughs> cake, <laughs> You're a monster. Cake's coming out of your And I'm all oh about it. It smells so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's stinky. <laughs> I always all about I also, Did you I offer to take them, don't get close I offer to take them for rides in my car all the time, and they won't get in my car. The car? It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, his car is literally, oh I, I drove his car the day, I was like, ugh. The shot. I didn't, I didn't, it was so, it was dirt everywhere. Yeah. Dirt. I didn't wipe it off. Dirt. No, no, no that's not, I'm saving that dirt. Yeah. Because I'm <laughs> shit. I'm saving that dirt. <laughs> I am. I'm saving that There's dirt. There's so much dirt. I couldn't see his phenomenon. No, that's just a <laughs> sunset. That's just when the light. I'm saving out. that dirt is my favorite thing from today. <laughs> I am. I'm saving that dirt because I won't want to wash what? up until I'm done shooting this video I'm making. Why? Because I need to keep the same essence and the aura. Like I You can't see it. the inside of the car. In the video you're shooting, and the car is no, the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this video, just, this video, the car has nothing to do with the video. You just don't want to do it for oracly, reasons. No, like oracly. Um, obsessive compulsive. And also, no, no, this video, yeah. we should say, you started how many months ago? A year ago? Oh, October. that video. He has one. October. He has one the year. He has one scene left. He won't tell us what it is. So we can't help him. He, he never says, tells us about any says, of projects he's doing. He just says, doing. he's just waiting for it to come to him. <laughs> I am. And it's starting to come. And I, every time I What is it? It's, it's a prop. prop. That's what I don't it's like. Thing. I'll film it. I'll buy it. Anything. It's a and prop. the reason he won't let us help is because when he uploads them to YouTube, nobody watches them. Sorry. <laughs> so he wants it to be a surprise for at least the two yeah, people. Yeah, because he goes, my own, my own the audience can't know what's going to happen for us because we're his only audience. Yeah, so why would I spoil the show for the two people who I know are going to watch it? But my argument is all the crew and the PAs and everyone who work on Batman still go watch Batman. They don't care. Yes, they, they care. do. Are you telling me if I if I was in Batman, I wouldn't want to go see yeah, it? because you like to watch yourself, but not because you want to see the if movie. If I edited yeah, Batman, I would go together. see it. The directors don't even like to watch the movies after they're done. Well, Woody the Allen director, maybe, but most people do. Yeah, most people like to see them. Kind Just of. people who like to watch themselves and stuff. Not like... No. Okay. If, Honestly, I was a, where if I was doing anything on a movie that was like I was invested in, I was interested, I'd want to go see it. We all keep talking about a totally different spectrum. I'm not living in that world. I'm not living in the world where the 200 people working on the crew is the is the minority. Set. In the world, you have a lot more than two people video. watching your videos. The, the video is like 90%. You get like thousands Why of people. Why haven't you finished this last scene? Because I haven't got the props in place. What prop? I can't tell you what if it you is. Don't you tell them what it is. I know what it is, but I can't tell them. You can't them. buy it for them? No. Why not? Because it's not it's a viable thing. Yeah. Don't even talk about it. Don't even talk about it. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> it apparently, it's almost done. Thesis. So because you have a film that you can't buy a prop for, that you can't help us with, your car's covered in dirt. <laughs> yeah. Like, what he won't what watch his car shit, because man. he wants the same dirt on the car that was on it when he first started filming. Just the interior. And you yell at me all the time for the being inside, obsessive compulsive. Just the dirt on the inside I want to keep. Why? Not the outside dirt. And? Yes, because when I wash the dirt up there, then he goes, Stop washing the dirt! It's not going to rain and you're wasting our water. Then it didn't rain. Let's not blast off that hard and smooth. It's clean. Totally clean. It didn't rain. It didn't rain. It rained. It rained. And also, the rain doesn't rain so hard that it blasts off. No, but I take the car and I drive it around the block and it just power washes it. 
Because it's a free car wash and it's a drought, so I'm trying and it charges for our water here. So I don't want to be wasting water. Oh, for I don't want to like shift gears too much, but can you explain the rain thing when it was raining? What you wanted to do? I feel like this will help everybody understand like a chef. Oh, my like, money making plan. Yes. Oh yeah. All right. So there's a whole other so thing about Jeopardy. Rain a lot in California. Jeopardy has inventions. No, and you're the worst this ideas an invention. and inventions. And there are some of the worst. I like my brother, and because he's crazy, he says insane things. But the, this the, is a it's genius. The, it's the craziest this thing. This is a genius idea. It would okay. not work. Rain was my segue. So it doesn't rain very often in California. And we're supposed to be getting this El Nino that you guys kept talking about. It's coming. That did not happen. Next year. It came. It's coming. It, it came. came and then it you were sleeping. Trickled yeah, and then the And so we live in front of, behind our house is like a river. It's paved like a storm drain river, but they paved it. It's a drainage basin. And so <laughs> it doesn't rain that much. So my idea, my wise idea, Just I would say. Don't, yeah, don't and color it up. Just say it. I think that there is money in the streets because people drop change Literally, all the time. Money in the streets. People drop change all the time. My friend Tony finds change every day of his life practically. Okay. One person finds change every day. You multiply... That, that's exponential. There's so thousands tell, them yeah. gonna, tell them how you're going to get them. So it's probably thousands of dollars of change in the street. I, knowing that it never rains, and I have a I have a gold mine behind my house because when it rains, all that water... He basically street, thinks he has the, the bank account, the tube that when you put your money in the ATM, when it goes rains, into the bank. When it rains, all the water from the streets goes into that storm drain. Uh-oh. Two minutes <laughs> left until we hit an hour. Okay. Someone called from Massachusetts. This is why it's um, good. No, yeah, it's good so one. anyway, the, you, what do you want to put there? Tell them what you're going to plan. The, all the street runoff runs into the basin. I want to take a big thing, a chicken wire or fence or some sort of heavy mesh membrane. A and, net? And line, like a net, but like a heavy mesh, like chicken wire or something even finer. Like chicken wire has big holes like, in it. I know. It's like I'll do a chicken wire and then I'll do like screen. And what know? does it do? And then it catches all of the money that washes behind my house. And also, all the it catches all the sticks, on. trash, boulders that go rolling why down there, you and house, rocks that will break that net I, and it will never work. Why do you think your house is the one runoff for all the, because, all the change in Los Angeles? Yeah, you think it's all I, coming I, down I, behind our house. Told me, you know what he told me? He goes, if I get a good rain the weekend, he goes, I could probably get a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars? Because listen, a thousand dollars rolls listen, behind listen, our listen, house. Listen, listen, I gotta tell you, in this system, if that yeah. were true, it would be rolling under our feet all the time. It this probably is, is, but we just don't know it. We just don't know it. Why don't we know it? Because we never thought of it. I, I came up with the idea. I had the realization. It's like Da Vinci, you know what I'm saying? We would thing. see it coming towards the drain. We never see it. Because you're not looking. Yeah, at I see all the time when the water's running down the, through the next to the curb. Yeah, but people are dropping. There's never money in there. Pe yes, there is. Tony's he also up every day. He also <laughs> said he <laughs> also said bills, bills, not bills. change, full bills, definitely bills. They definitely. Won't get rid I bet of you, water you probably get maybe thirty cents. There are thousands. You gotta stop burping. <laughs> oh my god. You have kale burps. You know your kale burps again? I something. I don't remember what it oh, was. Oh my god. There's thousands that of... That has rot gut, because no, all the burps all, smell no, so I, bad. The burps are so rare these days. So rare. Anyway, there are thousands of streets oh, that channel into our house, because our house is last on the thousands block. Of streets, My right. house is at the end of the channel. The coins aren't going anywhere. They're not going up hills and down streets. The, 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 the reason is all down okay, even even no, 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 no. Save thousands of dollars. Yeah, I'm saying, what's here. the radius amount of space that's going to go into I'm the saying, I'm, I'm guessing I'm getting about, like... Probably four or five square miles of change. Unbelievable. Because we're at the uh -huh. bottom of the hill. Okay, so. And it's all coming down to that big thing at the bottom. So do you just. Dollars and coins are going by my house every time it rains. Okay, okay so, so say the net works and it catches all this money. You're also catching thousands of pounds of trash and rocks that will break that yeah, net. I don't want that. It. But as I'm saying, it's going to break <laughs> the net and it's going to come loose. That's insane. That's like telling the guy, I'm going to build a bridge across the, the channel. Well, all the cars are going to fall through the bridge because the cars are heavy. A bridge is not, you're building a bridge I'm going to build something so solid that the, the branches in the rocks are going to break it. You, no, you're not. Chicken wire. One, chicken wire is not going to stop a car. That's the weight of not the, a the car. Box. But the, no, I'm going to do heavy duty stuff. You heard of it. Those boulders come 
slamming down one, that thing. One, the change isn't making it there. Two, it'd be like 50 cents. And also, no you have way, to, man. I'm telling you, easy, You have to easy, get like cement nails. Oh, you need $100. That easy thing. $100. Easy, easy. Easy. Do you have any also, idea how much a hundred, on, after one night? From one rainstorm. You All think right. there's $100 of change in a four mile radius on the streets of Glendale? Definitely. Okay, Are so you fucking crazy? $100? $100? I'm trying not to swear. $100 in five square miles on the streets? People are dropping bills. All How the are time. you going to get okay, the money? Okay, I forgot about Bill. And and it's also, true. when the town sees this contraption, they're not gonna see it. They're no, gonna go, "What the heck's this?" this? No one's gonna see it. And it's also, not... when the river floods and because this all this backup, no, because it's I got never gonna work. All the water gets through. But what about the rocks and the dirt that are blocking? I'll the go down there intermittently. I'll get a, a probe and I'll just. You gotta spend a whole weekend there, sifting through trash to get a hundred dollars. No joke. If a hundred dollars no don't work, then your cardboard, which isn't worth the seventy dollars, I just. Sit back do it, and do it for a night. If you get a hundred dollars, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Well, if it rains, <laughs> when, it, when it rains, well, we'll never be in a fight. When it rains, it's never gonna rain when it rains, if you do it and get a hundred dollars, I'll give you a thousand dollars. I gotta go it. find the stuff to make it with. See, this is the problem. You never do anything. I do things. It, it would never work. Comment gonna, and say if you think this. Yeah, I think know, it's a stupid idea would work. If you think this Seth's idea, Shepard's idea of catching all this thousand dollars would work. We should always end this with Shepard's inventions. Yeah, yeah we, we should end. Like we have given you one year inventions. As Shepard is inventing the giant net to catch thousands of dollars in the river. From four. Do miles. you think it would work and would it hold all the and, way? And the bills. And would the town would, remove it? And the bills would rip. And everything would rip. No, they just lay it nice and flat against the thing. And you're sitting there and you're just laughing you want to. But it's science. No, no, there's a money clap and it holds it up. Physics. It's physics. Well, that's the podcast. That's my own brother starring my own brother, Chepin, with special guest, Paul. I won't, be, I won't be back next time. I've never got so many calls on my phone. Is it? And <laughs> me, Nathan. I hope you guys like it. This is probably going to come out horribly and sound like crap. But thanks. We're gonna get re- we're gonna get real microphones. We're gonna get real microphones. And, and we're gonna get a phone. A better a angle. Photo. A better backdrop. Better. I like the better angle. hair. Better oh, clothes. Yeah, yeah. Better man. Better man. Better host. We're gonna get a host. Better guest. We're gonna get, get a sweet phone for the desk so people can call Wait, in. It's impossible. Yeah, we're and get you gotta phone. live stream it so people can participate. Maybe we'll live stream it. But then we never got on topic. We'll just be yelling like crazy the whole time. We'll in the comments the whole oh. time. We'll spend the first half hour. We just won't even look at the thing. We'll just talk and then we'll let everybody yeah. know. Okay, it's time for you to start. Yeah. So this is a trial and error. I, sh- I asked you. I, 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 it's like, why can't you just. I'm not giving you an over until tomorrow now. No, there you go. There you go. I asked you. See? Oh, see? I see? Oh, God. see? Oh, I forgot. See? That's it. Stop. I need that number. She's my true love next. My next true love. My own brother. Do gymnastics up in the air from those two poles. Easy.